Hello everyone! I am starting a new series that shows my digital drawing process and will give some tips on drawing digitally and what tools I use and how I use them. The drawing tablet I am using is a Wacom Cintiq. They are very expensive, so if you are just starting out, I recommend using something more like this. I'll have links to where you can buy them in the description below. So let's get started. So first I'm going to make a new canvas and I'm going to do that by clicking file and then clicking new. You can also create a new canvas by pressing Control N on the keyboard or by pressing the new button right there. Now a window pops up, you can change the file name and change the canvas size. I am going to have it set at a resolution of 350 dpi. Um, the lower the resolution, it tends to look a little bit more pixely and if your canvas is small. So if you have low resolution and your canvas is small, the picture is going to look pixely. So you don't want it to be too small. I'm going to have it at A6 for size and 350 dpi for resolution. If you press the button on the side of the two arrows, it will make it toggle between being portrait and landscape. I'm going to have it landscape for this tutorial. Now I am going to use the G pen for doing my rough sketch and sketching. Um, you can find the pen area by pressing P on the keyboard. Now, before we get started with sketching, I want to talk a little bit about layers. Layers are like clear sheets of paper where you can kind of stack them on top of each other and you'll still see the thing down below and you won't affect the thing on the first layer. So on this first layer, I'm going to draw a heart and kind of fill it in a little bit. And then I'm going to add another layer by pressing the new raster layer button down at the bottom and we will see another layer pop up right there, layer 2. And I am going to draw a red heart on this layer and it will not affect the layer underneath. Which is really cool because if you make a mistake it doesn't really matter as long as, it, as, long as it is on a different layer. Now if I drag the red heart layer under the black heart layer, we will see that the red heart goes under the black heart. And if I drag it above the black heart, then it's going to be above it again. Now let's get rid of those layers because we do not need them. And I will create a new layer and start sketching something. Now I sometimes flip my canvas. I press the button right up there to flip my canvas. I do this to check for errors or sometimes just to make it easier on my wrist. Now you might see some things kind of disappear. I am pressing the undo button. You can do this by pressing Control Z on the keyboard or you can also press the undo button at the top. Now I'm going to use the move layer tool. You can find it by pressing K. I'm going to move my sketch down into more of the center of the canvas. Now what's really nice about working on the computer is that you can transform things. I'm going to use a selection tool. I'm using the lasso marquee. You can find the lasso marquee by pressing M. Um, 
and I draw around the area that I want to transform and it allows me to make changes to it without having to completely redraw it. Now I'm going to go to edit, transform, and free transform. You can also do this by pressing control shift T and I'm just going to kind of tweak some things. You'll see me do this quite a bit. Now that my rough sketch is almost complete, I am going to lower the opacity of the layer by moving the dial on that slider right there, and I'm going to lower the opacity. I'm also going to change my sketch to blue by pressing layer color in the layer properties area. You might be in the layer search area, so to find it, make sure you are in the layer properties area. And if I click that button, it will turn it blue. I like to turn my sketches blue just because it makes it easier to see the refining details. <laughs> now I'm going to add another layer above my rough sketch layer and do a more detailed, cleaner sketch. I often like to rotate my canvas when I am sketching just to, for it to be easier on my wrist again. And um, I do that by pressing the little circles up in the navigator. This video is kind of an experimentation. Let me know what you think, if you want to see more. Um, what kind of things do you want me to talk about? If you want me to go more in depth on certain topics, please leave a comment down below and I will try to do a video on it. My next video will talk about customizing the different tools and my pen settings and how I do the line art. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.